Hey, how's it going guys? So here we have the semifinals of the Las Vegas League, League Cup that I attended. Uh, on your left, uh, you have me, uh, Pokemon Hero, aka David Benitez. And then on your right, you have Sean Timmons? Uh, I think that's how you say his last name, so yeah. So you're going to see Timmons. He's going to go first. Uh, he does open up Lele and just plays a Cynthia. Um, I open up Bray. Uh, and he's going first. He's playing Zoroark, um, Zork, Zoroark Bayonet, uh, which is actually a very, very scary deck. It does beat Shrine, so that's kind of what the purpose of that deck is to just uh, combat Shrine. Uh, and then I'm just playing Ray because it's just something that I felt really comfortable with. And I still feel really comfortable with, so that's probably what I'm going to stick to uh, until the new set comes out. So I do play Oranguru with. I search out Oranguru with Ultra Ball. Uh, and then I play uh, Marshadow, so I'm going to shuffle up my hand and draw four cards, and so is my opponent. And the reason I do this is because I still want to be able to play a supporter, so I'm going to go for Lele, Cynthia. I optimize my hand and I disrupt my opponent's hand, which is really good. Uh, I Rangaroo for, I think I, it was one, and I didn't get anything, so I end up just playing the Cynthia. So I'm going to draw six. Uh, I played two Grubbins, and I think this is where I start making mistakes with this deck. Uh, I feel that getting two Grubbins set up, or getting two Bickable set up is, is key, but not when your bench is like clogged up, because now, as you can see, my, my bench is clogged up, I can't really do anything, so yeah. Uh, so we do see um, Sean play Zoroark, we do see a trade. We do see a DC on Tapolele, and he does do 40 to my Ray. Does have the bayonet, uh, that bayonet set up on the bench. We do see an Ultra Ball from me, and I. Then you see uh, attach energy to Rayquaza, Cynthia drop for six. Choice spent on the Rayquaza, and then I'm gonna use Tempest. Discard my hand, draw ten cards. DC on Zork. Contemplating if he wanted to play Buzz, but instead plays Judge. It's kind of unfortunate that he had Judge in hand after I Tempest. Daddy? Hear it. So he ends up just doing Energy Drive for uh, 60. Uh, we do see Mysterious Treasure from me. I search for a Ray. Another Mysterious Treasure. I fail search it. I attach energy to the Vicavolt. And I play Tate and Liz. So I'm going to shuffle and I'll draw five cards. To get a big world set up so my ray is ready to go. I'm trying to do math and I'm one short. And this is what I was talking about. See, having like the bench clogged up, like I could have played a ray, and that would have been the extra energy I needed. And also having the Marshadow out early, like, yeah, it's good because it's trust my opponent, but now I have this Marshadow just stuck on the bench, you know? Um, so that's kind of what I, what I started realizing with this deck, the issue that I had. So, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, Marshadow is great, but it's not essentially optimal. So we do see trade. We see another trade from Sean. Sean comp contemplating what he wants to do. He just goes for the energy drive knockout. So I do strong charge, two energies on Lele. So I'm going to get a knockout with this Lele right here. Uh, do play Bulkner, so I get a Lightning Energy and Rescue Stretcher. Uh, search the discard pile, grab a Ray, play Ray, discard three. Attach an energy to the Ray, attach an energy for the turn, and knock out the Tapu Lele. So 
So he brings up Trubbish. I see an Ultra Ball from Sean. I think this is the moment. So this is a moment he was searching for for trash lunch, but he didn't realize it. He didn't realize that he discarded it early, so it was kind of like not the best move on his part. So this kind of gave me like the comeback that I needed uh, for this match. So we do see trade. We see another trade, and there you see me using those get good dice that I got from Ryan. Those are very helpful. Uh, if you guys haven't checked them out, uh, please do so. They are amazing dice and they let you keep track of like game state. Let's you keep track of trades, supporters played, all the good stuff. Uh, so I do play Rescue Stretcher. I throw three Pokemon back into the deck and then I play Cynthia. So I'm going to draw six. I do Strong Charge. I'm doing some math. I only attach Grass Energy to Vicovolt. See, yet again, not having that extra space uh, costs you. Oh no, I got a knockout. Yeah, yeah, seven. Sorry, I thought I was at six. But yeah. So Sean draws. Oh, I see Timer Ball. He gets one search. That's for Zoark. See trade. Another timer ball misses. See Ultra Ball. Did, at this point, I think he's just uh, uh, thinning out his deck. Kukui uh, ends up passing. So Guzma, I bring up uh, Zoroark, then place an energy retreat, and I get the knockout. So I get the first game. Um, it's very unfortunate for Sean that he kind of like, he didn't calculate that he, his garbs he threw away early. So that kind of helped tether or tilt the game into my favor. But yeah, but at the same time, like I kind of was stuck. Like if he was able to go off, then I would have been in a very, very awkward position. But yeah. I think you guys, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the mat that I'm using, I just noticed it too. Uh, it says staff, and it's because I had forgotten my mat at home, but Ruth Dan was there at this League Cup, which she's the one that like formed me in, filled me in about it, and she let me borrow this mat. Uh, I don't know if this mat's good luck. I'm, I still have it with me. I'm holding on to it because I'm going to see how it does in Memphis. So hopefully... <laughs> I know it's really it's really weird because I, I was not feeling well I was running on like four hours of sleep going to this event and um, So yeah, but uh, I ended up getting third. But yeah um, So maybe it's the mat. But yeah, anyways, let's get back into the game. So yeah, so Sean goes first uh, He ends up uh, setting up two Zora and then we see a Lele and then he gets another Zora and a, and a Shuppet He places energy on the Shuppet passes that is the best start ever. Like you can't ask for a better start. Uh, so I miss your treasure. I get Ray. Discard three, and then I play Cynthia. And I'm gonna draw six. Touch energy to Ray, and I will draw ten cards. For Alpha Tempest.
I play Ultra Ball. I get another Grubbin. I play Pay uh, Pal Pad. I was gonna say PayPal. <laughs> uh, Rango for one and pass. So we do see trade from Sean. Another trade. Getting rid of those Devourer Fields because in this matchup he doesn't really need them. And I think that's what the best thing about Zoroark is right now is we can run like Zoroark, Zoroark Toolbox. We can run one of two ofs of a lot of things. And then we can discard them when needed to get what we actually need from the deck. So yeah, so I think that Zoroark has some really amazing potential but people are just like skipping out on it so we do see rescue stretcher for me rare candy gets the vic i get the vicobot up uh strong charge onto the ray cynthia for six i already used the rangaroo energy on the vicobot so one Wait, one, two, three, four, five, one fifty. So we see trade, trade, and trade from Sean. Now we see Acerola brings out Garb. DC on the Zoark, and it gets a knockout on the Garb. Now we see another Grubbin, energy attachment, strong charge, and I miss the electric energy because I'm short. So Guz I'm Guzmoing up with the uh, Zoark. So now I'm just trying to buy a turn. He had Guzmo of his own, so now I get punished. Um, and I end up scooping because there's no way I can come back from that. So we're just going to go into game three. So I end up going first, uh, I get a uh, ray off and I get an energy attached to it and then place a grub in and uh, pass. So we do see Sean play Zora, the wired field and does 30 damage to my grub in. Uh, we do see Guzma bring up Coco and I do do 90 to it. It would have been nice if he had left the Zora on the, on the back burner because I was going to Guzma it up and knock it out. And that would have made this match go so much faster, but he kind of saw it coming, I guess. So he planned accordingly. Uh, we do see Buzzwald. Uh, we do see another ray from me. I do get the energy, place it on the ray. I end up doing 120. So it, it, this this is really, really a slow and grimy match. Uh, we do see trade, gets rid of the choice band. We do see Mallow. It's unfortunate, that, it's unfortunate that he already played, he already used this trade, so his Mallow is not getting the optimal effect that he wants. But he at least can set it up for uh, his next draw, so he can uh, kind of go off or do what he, what he needs to do. So he ends up passing, attach energy to Ray, and I knock it out. Brings a type of Coco. Brings on uh, Trubbish. Rescue Stretcher brings back the Buzzwald. 
and we see a Cynthia from Sean. So we see him use flying flip, that's funny to everything on my board. Uh, we see rare candy, bring down Lele, get a Guzma, dropping cards on my lap. <laughs> like the typical Greninja player that I am. Guzma, I bring up the Lele and strong charge, one on the Ray, one on the other Ray, and I knock out this Lele. I wanted to get rid of that Lele because it was a threat and it was very, very scary. So yeah, I think at this point, like it's it's pretty much a done deal. I'm already like super set up. Uh, oh yeah, I point at this devoured fuel because I forgot when it was put down, and I think when I hit for one twenty, the devoured fuel was there. So yeah, so that probably would have gotten me the knockout earlier, but it doesn't matter. Um, I was all like, you know what? It was my fault for not realizing and. You know it's okay and he's all like hey like we can you can take a prize if you want i was like no no it's okay i should have been paying attention so yeah so you see ultra ball for me i go for rangaroo kind of as my insurance policy at this point so i draw two strong charge onto the other ray and I swing for knockout. He plays Sean plays Lele. Goes for Lily. Trying to optimize his hand, I guess. Uh, trying to like draw like more cards instead of just like shuffling and drawing with Cynthia. Uh, so Lily for two. Oh. It's not looking good for Sean. Uh, we do see Choice Fan, uh, Rainbow Energy on the Grub on the Trubbish, and it's a passing. Or no, oh, it gets a knockout on the Ray. Sorry. Uh, so we do see strong charge for me. Two energies on the Vicavolt. So I knock out the the Zoark. I'm down to one prize. Uh, Sean's at four, I believe. So for him to make a comeback, it's really hard. Uh, even if he does knock out my Ray, like I still. I'm still in a really good position. So it brings up Shuppet. Uh, plays Kuzma, brings up Vikovo. And brings up Lele. DC and then he sees that I pretty much have a game so he scoops and that is the end of the semifinals or the quarterfinals sorry but yeah guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already make sure to share the video with anybody that wants to see how the quarterfinals of the Las Vegas League Cup went. Guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.